Welcome to Womb Whispers, menstrual wisdom for everyday life. This is the podcast to follow if you want to radically trust your own body's cyclical wisdom, release trauma and internalize shame, and erode patriarchy from the inside out. I'm Lisa, and I'm on a mission to help you feel safe, happy, healthy, and holy in your body, and remember and reclaim the power and wisdom already stored in your bones. Hey love, and welcome back to Womb Whispers and to today's episode, which is going to be a little bit different to what I've shared here before because I'm going to guide us into a little exploration in a moment. And I think it's partly inspired because this week was the lead up to the Scorpio dark moon and Scorpio. It's Scorpio season, the sun is in Scorpio as well and that usually brings up a lot of deep stuff, emotions, old thought patterns, anything that our system wants us to look at, to process, to release and then move forward with renewed energy. And yeah, this is all about giving you the permission slip to not be, feel or show up the same every day. And I held a workshop this week for the e-festival at the Academy of Soul-Based Coaching where I have trained and learned coaching. And the whole festival is about creating the new future, a future that um, allows everybody to thrive, everybody independent of their uh, background, of their skin color, of their sexual orientation, of their religious beliefs and all of that. We want everyone to thrive and in fact show that the new future is already here. It's starting. We are building it right now because what is the present moment to us was the future to us a few moments ago. And so the only possibility of creating this different future is doing something in the here and now. And on this uh, workshop that I held for the festival, it was all about receiving guidance from your cycle on how to call in this new future that you might want. And a cycle, of course, is independent of gender or sex. All beings are cyclical and it can be that for you it's the menstrual cycle, it can be that for you it's the uh, moon cycle if you, you for example, in postmenopause or don't have um, sexual reproductive organs in your womb space. It can also be the daily cycle or the yearly cycle if you live in a testosterone dominant body. So really you have a cycle and I taught this workshop on how you can receive guidance from your cycle. And by the way, if you have a community or you are in a community or circle and you would like to explore this question, like the wisdom of the menstrual cycle or the moon cycle or the cycles in general, and for example, receive guidance, general guidance where everyone can bring their own topic, something that's on their mind, how to deal with a certain situation that they want guidance on, or if it's specific to a certain topic, like receiving guidance on living a more fulfilled life or bringing more joy into your life or if even finding a partner or healing the relationship to your sexuality. I'm very open to tweaking this workshop and holding it so that it works for you and your community. So please do reach out to me, either yourself or tell the facilitator to reach out to me. Uh, I'm always available through email that is linked in the show notes. And I've also got other topics that I love to hold workshops on that can be uh, something like you and your cycle have the power to change the world. It can be an introduction to embodied cyclical living, really living more in tune with your body. It can be about womb care or menstrual care. It can also be in the realm of menopausal health. For example, what I like to say is menopause is not a disease or how to have a peaceful menopause transition. And then I've also got workshops like moving through intense emotions, which again is a very Scorpio topic, or exploring your sensual and sexual self. So in case any of these topics ring a bell and you would love to experience that, either in your community if you're a facilitator yourself or in a community that you're part of, so please reach out to me or let the facilitator reach out to me. I would love to do that. 
But back to the workshop that I held. Um, what surprised me, and not really surprised me on some level, but then again, it surprises me every time, um, was that the main takeaway for many folks from that workshop was one key element, and it's this. You don't have to be, feel, or show up the same every day. It's the ultimate permission slip for you to be exactly as you are right here, right now. And I love when people tell me that that's their main takeaway. I've heard that from workshops. I've heard that from people who read my weekly e-letters. Even, even my friends, Lisa, you were the one who really taught me or with whom I could understand that I don't have to show up the same every day. And in the societies that we live in, we get displayed a very specific way of life that requires us to be on, to be showing up, to have constant progress, to yeah, basically not allow any fluctuations whatsoever. And our society is set up for this linear progress and scarcity. Like time is linear and it's never enough. Money is never enough. Change, healing should be linear. You should be able to take step one, two and three and then you arrive at your destination. But in the end, life is inherently cyclical and all beings are cyclical. And I want you to know that you don't have to neither be, feel or show up the same every day. You've got full permission from me if you needed that, but I hope that you can give yourself permission because that's more important. So full permission to be exactly as you are today, right now. And because I want you to really feel the truth in it, to really embody or anchor that in your system, I will guide you into a mini exploration right now. It's only going to be about five minutes, but it will help you understand on a deep, deep level that you are cyclical in nature and that that's a beautiful thing. And if it's safe for you to do so, you can in a moment close your eyes. But if that's not possible for you right now, you might be driving or, or going somewhere, then you've got, of course, other options. You can either pause and come back to this exploration later or you, while going after what you're doing, just allow your thoughts to wander with the questions that I'll be asking, with eyes open, just for a moment. It's not going to take super long anyway. And also, if you don't feel safe closing your eyes, if in your body you don't feel safe like that, you don't have to do it either, right? You, you just listen to what feels safe for you in your body and in your situation right now. And so whichever is your option, now either close your eyes or maybe half close the eyes if that feels safer for you or look somewhere downwards in front of you or just soften your gaze a little and whatever is possible for you in this moment. And then let's take in a deep breath together and make the exhale as long as possible. Taking in another breath, releasing whatever needs to be released right now on the out breath. And a third intentional breath. And then allow your breath to find its own rhythm. Sense the gentle rise and fall of your chest and maybe your belly. Sink into this steadiness of the rhythm of your breath trusting that your body knows exactly how to breathe right now so that you are fully supported and in a moment I'm going to ask you a series of questions to just ponder and allow whatever's coming up to come up It's totally okay if you can't answer some of the questions for yourself. 
There may be things that you are thinking about for the first time in your life. So there might not be an answer right now. That's okay. It can also come later or tonight in a dream. Just notice what comes up when you're asked the question and allow that to be okay and enough. Where are you located right now? As in city, region, country. How does your body feel? Do you need to maybe make adjustments in your position? Then go ahead and do that if it feels good. What day of your cycle are you on? And if you're not sure or you don't track your cycle, what's the date of today that you are listening? How is your energy level today? What is your mood like today? What is your mental capacity like today? Are you more dreamy or communicative and chatty or more critical or more focused? What's your mental capacity like today? And if your brain is getting worried now whether you should know all these things, allow it to quieten down. It's completely okay to not know right now. What phase is the moon in today? What season do you have where you live? The outer season. What stage of your life are you in right now? What projects or even life projects do you have going on right now? And how can you honor all of this today with everything that's on your plate? What's one loving thing you can do to support you with all of this? And then ask your body what your body would like to do now to come back to the present moment. Maybe wiggle your toes and fingers. Or maybe give your body a good stretch. Or maybe even yawn. And if you had your eyes closed, you can start to open them again. And I welcome you back to the present moment. And yeah, this is just a really little check-in that we can do every day to anchor us in the here and now, like being really present with what is in the moment, even if that's uncomfortable. 
And this is also where I start in all my client sessions because this presence in the moment and this being okay with whatever is coming up is essential in any healing work or change work because this presence, it takes out the pressure for something needing to happen. It allows for whatever is present or unfolding to be there and that in turn allows for magical surprises. And it also keeps us connected to this wisdom that's deeper and more than just in the brain or in the mind. Because our brain is really rather limited in terms of information. There's only so much a brain can process. But your whole body, heart, mind and soul system, it takes in basically everything. And because of that, there is so much more wisdom stored in there, like so much more information and so much, many more conclusions that can be drawn from your whole system versus just your brain. And so when you open yourself up like this, to the present moment and to your whole body, heart, mind and soul system, that's when like these deeper answers can come. And I say can, and they don't have to come right away, and that's okay too. And also when we do these check-ins, we realize we aren't the same every day and we don't have to be. In fact, we can't be the same every day because every day there is a myriad of of different cycles going on inside and all around you. The day has a cycle. The moon has a cycle. The year has a cycle or a season. Life has a cycle. Life is cyclical. Projects have a cycle. The planets in astrology, they have a cycle. They are cycling. And so when there are so many different cycles that are influencing you and your body at the same time, Why should you be, feel or show up the same every day? Like it's literally not possible. It's just this extractive capitalist narrative in our society that says we humans should all behave like machines. But you're not a machine. So you have every right to not show up with the same mood or energy level or mental capacity day by day by day. You are a cyclical being because all beings are cyclical. And we are all living in a linear world or a world set up for linear progress. But nature is cyclical and so are we. And with this little practice or check-in, you can become aware of the different cycles that are moving you and moving through you. And by doing that, you learn to be more gentle with yourself, to be more compassionate, to get in touch with and care for the needs you have. And that's why... This really is full permission to not be, feel or show up the same every day. And also you can learn to flow more in tune with your personal rhythms. For example, by understanding them in the first place and how your cycle, again, it doesn't have to be the menstrual cycle, how your cycle works you on a physical, emotional, mental and spiritual level because your cycle influences you on all those levels. And there is a lot of information, not overwhelmingly a lot, but there is information on that in my free mini course, Unlock the Power of Your Cycle, that I will link to in the show notes. And through it, you can learn to read and understand the, the language of your body. This course is free, and I mean it. You do not have to, quote unquote, pay with your data, your email address. The only reason you need to type in your email address is to create an account so that you can actually watch or listen to the content, but you will not be added to my newsletter list. That being said, if you want to receive regular letters from me and stay in touch, my Monday musings, uh, I write them every Monday moon day because Monday is connected to the moon and um, every Monday to start the week more connected to yourself and your body and for you to or to help you move along with your personal shifting and changing rhythms. Then, of course, feel free to sign up to the Moonday Musings. I'll leave you the link in the show notes and I would love to stay in touch if we aren't there already. But also if you want to dive deeper and connect to your personal rhythm, I offer sacred cycle deep dive sessions. And they are basically facilitated heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your cycle or a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your cycle, no matter whether you're bleeding or not. 
Because, you know, in the end, I can teach you all you want. I do have information on the different phases of the cycle and all of that. But ultimately, I believe that your cycle can teach you better. It can, in fact, support and guide you through your life. That's why I hold these workshops on receiving guidance from your cycle. And especially, but not only, if you experience menstrual or menopausal health challenges, I know that your cycle has a message for you because pain and symptoms are usually messages from the body. And in the deep dive, I will ask you and your cycle some very specific questions that will help you make sense of these messages. Because while there is value in me explaining what's going on inside your body and the processes and providing context that is valuable on some level, but it's an infinitely more powerful experience for you when I don't interpret and interfere because you will form this strong bond to your body and you will really see how your cycle isn't here to annoy you and your body isn't here to annoy you, but they are your best friends and allies. And of course, with everything I've shared, I would love to know what you're taking away from this episode and this mini exploration that I guided you through. So please do reach out and let me know via email or via Instagram or via the contact form on my website or the comments below if there is the possibility where you are watching or listening. And if it's just one thing that you're taking away, then I hope that it's going to be that you don't have to be, feel or show up the same every day. Full permission to be your beautiful, glorious, amazing self on all levels. And with that, I wish you a beautiful day and much love. Thank you so much for listening. Now, before you go, if you enjoyed this episode, please share the love by leaving a raving review and forwarding the episode to a friend who really needs to hear this today. You can learn more about me and my work over on my website or in my weekly e-letters, Moonday Musings, that I send each Moonday, Monday morning, to start off the week more connected to yourself and fully present in your glorious body. And if there's a question or topic you want me to explore further, send me a mail and let me know. Now have a lovely weekend and speak soon.